Okay, so our CNBC poll says uh, I think the first rate hike uh, expected in July 2014, just about. Um, is there anything that could deter the uh, the Fed from that route? Well, the economy could uh, lose a lot of steam, and it could cause a pause in the tapering. But uh, I don't really expect that to happen, and I, I think. The sooner we get to a little normalization of interest rates, the better. It's always been true that uh, easy money policies hurt savers while it uh, presumably helped spenders and investors. But easy money has never lasted for five years before, and uh, mm -hmm. we really need some relief on that front. Mr. Matier, there, 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 in, in academic circles, okay, I mean, this is, almost the, uh, this is almost the domain of ivory towers and rolling hills on university campuses, but if there is this thought out there that normalization of interest rates will actually create an environment where it's easier to lend because it's easier to gain clarity on what your margins are and you have more pricing power as a financial institution. Has that argument gone away or is that, does that remain academia? I think it probably is academia. Uh, I have heard it. Uh, I have heard it said that the easy money policies made entry into a lot of uh, fields easier and increased competition there. And uh, but uh, I think generally, uh, when we start moving out of the easy money policy and the zero interest rate environment, it will feel more normal to people. And maybe there will be a little bit more inflation along with that. When inflation gets down so close to zero, central banks can't ease very much in real uh, interest rate terms, uh, only in nominal rate terms. So I think uh, everybody's subject to a little bit of money illusion. So uh, slightly higher uh, interest rates going along with slightly faster inflation, which goes along with faster nominal GDP growth, uh, will probably feel pretty good. Hey, Bob, um, you know, some would say that the Fed right now and Janet Yellen, they are obsessed with inflation. Our prices are still far away from their 2% target. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they like looking at core, the personal consumption expenditure, which is what hovering at 0.9%, whereas the inflation target is at 2% for the Fed. And, of course, long-term unemployed, so that's what they pr prefer to look at rather than U3 or U6, the top-line numbers on the jobs report. Uh, is that the right metric right now for, for the Fed to be looking at? Well, uh, I understand their arguments for some inflation. Uh, even a dove can understand that. But two percent's a little high. A little high for me it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm I'm perfectly happy with one percent. They're scared to death of getting uh, into the Japanese situation where they've uh, been fighting deflation for two decades now, and it is a it is a real downward spiral when that starts because it affects uh, people's expectations, which causes them to stop spending. So they are worried about it, but I think Janet Yellen is more worried about it than anybody else on the planet. I think uh, everybody else could uh, not, not bring it up every time she speaks in every press conference she has. That makes me a little uneasy. <laughs>